In our final experiment, we're going to look at a ruler oscillating on a cylinder. So to do this, you're going to need a 30 centimeter ruler, two paperback books, and then something which is cylindrical shaped. For example, you could use a kitchen towel tube, a toilet roll tube, or a tin of beans, or something like that. So Anna will demonstrate how we need to put it together. So we'd have our cylinder, and then we've got a book on either side to make sure that it doesn't, <coughs> the cylinder can't move. Then you need to take your 30 centimeter ruler, which you're going to balance on the cylinder until it's sitting balanced. And then to start it oscillating, you have to push one end of the ruler a little bit down and then it starts oscillating. So like before, we're going to try and time one time period, but rather than doing that directly, we're going to do um, five time periods to begin with. So, you wait a moment, and we'll get ready. So, Anna, if you can start it off, and then I'll go zero, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can divide the time that you get by five to work out the time period. And now, <clears throat> if we can try that again with a slightly larger amplitude. So, Once you've done the basic experiment, then you can try changing some of the variables. So one option would be to swap the cylinder for a different diameter cylinder. and see how that affects the time period. Or another option would be to swap the ruler for a different length ruler and see how that affects the time period. The choice is yours.